Let me begin by saying very simply that I'm very happy to be part of the celebration of the Velvet Revolution. Your Velvet Revolution has been an inspiration to peoples all over the world. It was a breakthrough in the modern history of our world. A, vel a Velvet Revolution, a revolution that was gentle and beautiful. A revolution that inflicted very little pain and damage on all those involved. This is what we all aspire towards, to bring change to our countries, to remove what is not desirable, but in such a way that it left very few wounds. The Velvet Revolution inspired us because we also were wishing to achieve democracy. I think, in fact, we can claim to be a little ahead of you because our revolution took place in 1988 but we did not achieve success as quickly as you did. We still have not yet achieved success. We are still trying to build up a genuine democracy built on a genuine democratic constitution. The question whether or not people still believe, believe in democracy today, I can answer very simply and very confidently. They do, certainly they do in my country. I can say this because when we campaigned for our people to support amendments to the Constitution that would make it more democratic, more reflective of the will of the people, our campaign achieved tremendous success in the way of the support of our people. We gained five million signatures and that is a great achievement in a country like ours where people are as yet still very unused to democratic practices. In spite of that, they showed that they understood their responsibilities as well as their rights by supporting our campaign, by making it quite clear that they want a system of government which truly reflects the will of the people. What they want is government by the people, for the people, of the people. Václav Havel, of course, made the phrase, the power of the powerless, famous. We also, I think, now have to talk about the courage of the powerful. The power of the powerless is their strength. The courage of the powerful should be their strength as well as the strength of the nation. Those who hold power in their hands should be prepared to recognize that their will is not necessarily the will of the people and they should have the courage to accept the will of the people as supreme and we can all do this in a spirit of reconciliation, in a spirit of unity. If we all work together to achieve the kind of democracy in which our people can truly believe, then powerless, powerful, there will be no difference between them. We will all belong equally to a community where there is democracy, where there is rule of law, and where human rights are respected. So I can say with great confidence that we in this country are prepared to continue with the struggle for genuine democracy, with the struggle to build up a truly democratic union of Burma. May I conclude by expressing my appreciation to Charles University and the organizers of this conference for inviting me to take part in this very meaningful ceremony. I'm confident that the Czech Republic will continue to play a very important part in the development of democracy all over the world because I do believe that the Czech people are committed to the idea of democracy, the values of democracy. And I hope that we in Burma will be able to work closely with you in the years to come to promote velvet changes in this world. Thank you.